issue which is sometimes quite contentious, and that's the issue of pricing of e-books. Um, those of you, of course, very familiar with the US e-book market will know that the, uh, that the Amazon.com Kindle pricing strategy has had a very uh, significant impact in the US market and has given uh, considerable cause for concern amongst American publishers because the majority of titles are priced at $9.99 um, I'm very interested to hear what the panel thinks um, the right price for the ebook is in, in comparison to say the hardcover or paperback price. From a retailer's perspective, you know, where, where do you start with? Now, well, I think I think the first thing to say on price is, is the point you said there, which is about uh, VAT. I, I think if we had a room full of customers here, they just would genuinely not understand why a hardback book is $18.99 at full price and £21.84 if it's a digital file. And I think that's because it's got VAT on it and it doesn't have VAT on it uh, in a physical book. So, so that's uh, uh, something which is definitely uh, misunderstood by a customer and is in danger of us looking overly expensive because that's not understood. I think after that, um, I think we all have to act uh, in a common interest here and say um, what we genuinely don't want is uh, we don't want the price of um, digital uh, files to become so cheap that it devalues uh, reading and devalues books. And I think uh, as a retailer, we don't want to see that, and uh, publishers and everybody involved, we want to see that. I think that we need to be able to uh, reach a sensible place on pricing. Um, and I think it's confusing for a customer to see a book uh, on our site today that uh, happens to be on sale in hardback format in our stores and see it on sale at um, 16 or 17 pounds as a digital file. And then tomorrow, a paperback is launched, and that same file comes down to zero or seven pounds. Uh, and I think it's difficult for a consumer to understand why overnight the price has changed from 16 pounds to six or seven pounds. Um, so I feel personally that the, the right level is in and around the uh, six or seven pounds. And the price of a, a paperback book is um, more than feels the right price for us to be charging uh, a digital file. I think the movement between um, what happens in the physical for folks on what I think they have to use this issue. We, we actually, just very briefly, sorry to interrupt, but we, asked, we actually asked some consumers, uh, some people who bought our, our device uh, in the UK, the same question recently, uh, which is what is the right price? And uh, <coughs> out of the sample that we took, um, the answer came back that purchasers of our device would, on average, be willing to pay £8 for a new release book and four pounds for an older release book. And uh, obviously these people don't know the costs that are inherent in the digital supply chain at the moment, but to some extent is that relevant? This is what the consumer's expectations are and as an industry. And we have to meet that rather than tell them they're wrong. Jody, what's the publisher's perspective on this? Steve, Well, I suppose I think a number of things here. The first thing is that in the UK, this is a purely payment decision. I, I don't know exactly what every other project is designed to do, but we take the VAT hit. So we develop we VAT before we uh, sell to our retailers. So that, that was just the first point. So hopefully that does mean the prices do look a bit more sensible on some of our titles. I think we are at very early stages in terms of what the market will accept in terms of pricing. Um, I, I completely understand that the blogosphere is full of comments around pricing and particularly around free content as well. But I think the most important point is the one Neil made is that at this early stage it's incredibly important that we establish the 